Okay, this video is what is happening in Ireland. Now, historically, Ireland is a predominantly Catholic country, okay? Ireland, historically, for a thousand years, has been sort of uh, bullied by England, all right? And, you know, a typical thing is they force Ireland to have fluoridation of their water, and it's, it's a common thing done to make people stupid and weaker. Um, the, they also regulate the Irish radio. They don't let them play as much of the patriotic songs compared to other stuff. You know, this is a pretty typical thing to wimp down a population. Um, the Irish people say there are numerous videos about this, numerous new num articles about this. I just find this because I, I search around the Internet. You know, my father was from Ireland. I like learning about Ireland, okay? And um, it's sad. The Irish people are getting screwed very badly. Um, they say that excessive immigration is being forced on the country. The leaders just say, oh, we're obligated to increase immigration. We're obligated to increase immigration. Why are they obligated to in increase immigration? They're not needed, these immigrants, for jobs. It's just being forced on the population in massive amounts. And people say, oh, well, you know, we're a nation of immigrants. You know what? Ireland is not a nation of immigrants. Ireland is a bunch of old Catholics who've been pretty much brutalized. You know, my Irish ancestors, my father's side of the family, were basically slaves for the British for a long time. Okay, and each one will typically, often, historically, bring like 20 more through so-called family reunification. And you say, well, you know, what about the immigrants? The immigrants are just forced on the population. They're mostly men of military age, okay? And I've seen videos of it. There'll be busloads of military age men brought into an Irish town at night and then put up there uh, by the leaders of that country, okay? This is a deliberate takeover of the country. This is a like a, a military invasion of Ireland. And something very similar is happening in France. Something similar has happened to some extent in England and in some of the other European nations. As I was saying before, this is part of global communism to genocide the white Christian race and to thus impose communism on these countries. Um, and once it's imposed, there'll be no turning back. Uh, so hopefully it's not going to go all the way to fruition and the complete destruction of uh, Christian Dome and uh, Western Christianized populations. And, you know, it's all this BS. You know, if, if uh, these countries were so racist, why does everybody want to go there? Because they made them into nice countries. That's why. And because they're not really racist. It's all BS. That's all a communist psyop to make it easier to take over these countries. So this is really a disaster. You know, these countries have the right to exist. These people have a right to exist. Um, the countries that aren't allowing massive immigration, those are the countries that are surviving. The ones that do have massive immigration, they're the ones that are collapsing into worse and worse poverty and chaos and heading into communism, loss of freedom, loss of freedom of speech, and et cetera, et cetera. Uh, so anyways, just be aware of it. This has happened Something very similar in France and other European countries. It's happening in a big way in Ireland. And again, these are military age men brought in by the busloads at night. Okay, that is not a normal thing. Um, and who's next? USA? You can bet. You can bet this is happening right now in the USA. It just hasn't gotten as big yet because USA is such a big country. Uh, but, um, you know, this is very unfortunate. You know, once this all happens in Ireland, you know, what's left of Ireland?